<clears throat> Vampire Lord, I've come to negotiate. Yes, that is a children's wagon full of jars behind me. I know they're in a child's toy wagon. How else am I supposed to transport them? And you have too many stairs. I think it's an accessibility issue. Ah, I see you've come off your throne to further inspect me. No, don't eat me. I'm the one you should be afraid of, you know. What kind of human just walks up to you and says I'm come I've come to negotiate? Well, I am stuttering a little. I never thought I'd be this close to you. Your fangs are mesmerizing. Huh? I'm dragging my hand down my throat. You could drag your teeth across my- Okay, <clears throat> Yes, I've come to negotiate. For your hand in marriage. I don't see a ring on your finger. What's her name? Where does she live? That's what I thought. It's okay. Lots of ambitious people don't find a partner until later on in life. You know, a few centuries, whatever. It doesn't matter how old I am. I'm an adult. <sighs> don't you even want to know what's in the jars? Okay, better. It doesn't matter how old you are, you still want to know what stuff is. Human curiosity is for the weak. Okay, well, I guess you'll just kill me and you'll never know what it is or why I dragged it up here. All the way up the goddamn stairs. Oh, did you need me to lower my shirt collar? Here, here, here you go. Mmm. I'm O negative, baby. Drink up. Oh, you'll, uh, you'll entertain me. You'll humor me. I'm so lucky. You know, I, I've never known what you sound like. This is my first time hearing your voice. I really like it. <laughs> yeah. Did you always sound like that, or did the vampirism... You don't remember? Okay, yeah. And well, everyone's voice sounds different to them because there's resonance in your skull. So, you're... Right, the jars. <laughs> Here, I'll hold them up so you can see. Well, one of them. And then I put it in my palm, and then I drag my hand down in front of it. It's a tried and true saleswoman technique. I don't know why you're being like this.
<laughs> Here, take it. Yes, the jar. Have a look. It is blood, yes. But do you see how it's green and it has that color shift? It's hard with all the candlelight. A sunlight would be... R right. Sorry, I forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> this is what you've been waiting for. Are you ready? It's the blood of a demon. Yeah. Oh, I made a deal. I mean, I paid a warlock to facilitate the deal. Yeah, he was a lawyer before he made his pact. Really good. I got his card. Don't worry. Well, it's a gift. I thought maybe you'd never had the blood of a demon before. It's a pretty cool courtship gift, right? And it shows that I'm... More than okay with your vampirism. Fetishize is a strong word. Let's call it bonus attraction. What did I do for a living before I came here? You want to know about me? <gasps> I was a con woman, I can admit it, a grifter. Knock off designer dresses. Hey, mine were better. <laughs> I could make you a fantastic cape. No, wait, I don't want to move on. This is the closest thing I'll get to a date with you. What did you do before you were a vampire? Were you always a ruler? Yeah. Another question. Which demon did I get the blood from? Oh, I had the warlock write it down. Hang on. Okay, I have this. Okay. Do you know Marbuel? Yes, one of the seven great princes of spirits. He takes the form of an old lion and bestows honors upon magicians. He finds treasure both by land and sea, and is extremely powerful. Yeah, one of his servants. Hey, it's still demon blood, okay? I didn't want to take a big risk. I thought you were going to kill me. Oh, I'm ready to die for love, believe me. Is that too soon? Oh well, there was no use hiding it. <laughs> well... 
Maybe you should take a sip of my offering before you decide what to do with me. Although I have a few ideas, if you know what I mean. Yeah, go on. You know I'm obsessed with you. Maybe you get more power from it, I don't know. You would be the first vampire to ever drink the blood of a demon. Oh, you took the lid off. I'm so excited to witness this historic moment. Drink deep. And down you go. Oh, 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 watch the stairs. See, you could get a concussion. Oh, you're so cute. Raise your vampiric hand towards me feebly. Look betrayed. No, it's poison. It's not going to kill you. Let me just make myself more comfortable. You're helpless, right? Mm, I'll sit in your lap. Oh, this feels correct. If I was strong enough, I'd drag you to your throne. Let me run my fingers through your hair. Doesn't that feel nice? Oh, are you trying to form words? That's so cute. <laughs> No, there was no demon, no warlock. Yeah, well, I did tell you I was a con woman, didn't I? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to use you to make myself into a vampire. And then I'm going to marry you while you're unconscious. And then we're going to spend the rest of our own lives together. Happily ever after. Oh, don't look so shocked. It's the only way I'll be a match for you. <laughs> you have no choice, of course. But don't worry. I'm here to take care of you and everything else. You deserve a break. You deserve a pretty girl in your lap. Mm. Just close your eyes. And when you wake up, Everything will be correct. And we'll be bound together forever. My love.